Welcome. In this video I'm going to explain how to use our new Boss Events Studio software. This is for ordering Express Events through our Boss Software with Records feature. To start a new job, you need to first start off by creating a folder on your computer somewhere that's going to contain all the images that you're going to use in the event that you're going to be putting together. In this case I've got a folder right here on my desktop that I've put the images that I'm going to be using in. Um, once you've got the images in the folder, you then want to click on your Buckeye Color Express Events software. A double click will start the software up. Once the software is loaded, you're going to see the normal Boss welcome screen that you would see on all of our Boss software. In this software, however, we'll exit out the tip. We're not going to do our ordering in the actual screen here. All ordering for Boss Events is done in the Records screen, which is right down here at the bottom. I'll click Records, and it's going to bring up a whole new screen here. This screen is where all of your data entry and package building takes place. The first thing you want to do is load your images into the bottom of this screen. To do that, you click on Folder, navigate to where you have the images saved. In my case, I saved them on the desktop. So I'll wait for that to load, and I had them under Boss EE Images. And that's the job I'm going to be using now, so I will say Open and you'll see the images now load in the bottom of the window here. Once they have all loaded in the bottom, we need to add them to the top. To do that, you can slide this middle section up and down so you can see more of one section or the other. We need to first put our preset fields to the events by clicking the drop down arrow, clicking on events, and saying yes. Once that's done, you'll see you have fields here on the left that are for your data entry and your images. So we're going to put our images into the images file field. Click that, it'll highlight the line, come here to images, click the drop down and say add images and OK that. Once that's done you'll see your images are now loaded into the top line up here. If you've got less than 10 images you can click on the very first blank, shift and click the last one and remove those columns from the window. That way you're only going to have now columns that you're actually going to be working in. If you have more than 10 images, it will create the columns for every image that you have on your screen. The next step then is to match your group shots to your individuals. To do that, we will highlight the first group in the job, then right click it, come down to make group image. Once you click that, you're going to get a pop-up window. This window, the first thing you need to do is select the field that you want your group to be in and that is the team image field. Then you have to tell is it for the previous images or next images. In this case this is the previous image. So we'll say previous one record which because there's only one individual for this team. You check the include current record box if you intend on ordering extra prints for like coaches or sponsors on the actual team image. In this case we'll say we are going to order some so we'll check that box and then say OK. So now you can see that team shot has now been matched to the actual team itself plus all the individuals that are ordering from that team. In this case there's only one. We'll do the same thing for the next team now. Click it, highlight it, right click, make group image. This is also for the previous records and this one's going to be two. You can see that the team image field has stayed highlighted for this job. This one we're not going to order any thank you plaques on, or thank you prints on, so we uncheck that and say OK. So now you can see this team has now been matched to these two girls, but there's not matched to itself. So we can remove this um, instance of the team. Right click on it, remove column, because we're not going to need it for any ordering. And now the only thing left in the job are actually prints that are going images that are actually going to be ordered from. That's all you can do up here for now. The next step is building your packages. So to do that, you make the bottom half what you can see most of again, and click on the packages tab. You'll come over to the groups and select add group. Now you can name your package set anything you like. In this case, I'm just going to call it 2010 baseball and say OK. So now you can see this group now is 2010 Baseball and our first package is going to be Package A. We can name our packages anything we want. It's best to keep it simple, one character or two at the most. So we can name it Package A. We could also name it Package 1 
or if you run out of 26 and you're using the alphabet, you can name it package AA or BB and so on. But like I said, in this case, we're going to just start with package A. Once you've got your first package named, you need to go back to your boss main screen. You can move the records off the screen and you'll see here there's the sizes drop down and you need to select show sizes palette. Now I already have the palette up here so I don't need to click that. So, but I am going to make it to where I can see both windows on my screen at the same time. Okay, so now what we need to do is decide what we're offering in package A. So in this case let's say we're going to have some graphic products for baseball so that would be under spring summer sports tab. Click that and you can see baseball is one of the many graphic options that we have available for spring summer sports. So baseball is where we want to be. So we'll scroll down now and we'll say the first item we want to offer is an 8x10 teammate. So we'll drag that product over to the package A and you'll see a green arrow appears. When you release it, it will then pop under here. It'll show you you're ordering one 8x10 teammate. If you wanted to change that quantity, you can just change that to a 2 and now that package will include two. 8 by 10 teammates. Let's also say we want to order one graphic button in this package. So we'll come up to the top here, graphic button, click it and drag it over to package A. And now this package includes two 8 by 10 teammates and one graphic button. That's all we're going to offer in package A, so let's move on now and build a package B. So to the right of the A, there's a green plus. You click that, double click the package to rename it. Let's call this one package B. Now we're going to, let's say, we're going to order some non-graphic products for package B. So we come up here to non-graphic prints tab, click that, and it'll show all of our non-graphic prints. Let's have one 8x10, so find the 8x10 in the list, click it, drag it over to B, and release. So now we've got an 8x10, and let's say we want 8 wallets also. So we'll click 8 wallets, drag them over, and release. We also want to include a non-graphic 5x7 team shot. So go to non-graphic groups, 5x7 group, drag it over to B. So package B now has an 8x10 individual, 8 wallets, and a 5x7 group. Let's make one more package. We'll call this package C. And this will be our extras. In this case, we're only, the only extra we're going to offer is the 5x7 extras for the teams, for the coaches and sponsors. So we'll drag that 5x7 over and that's in package C now. And you can go on and on all the way down through Z and then if you run out of A through Z you can double double up the letters A, A, B, B and you can also have ones, twos, and threes packages. That's all fine. Once you've got your package set built including all the options that you need you can then minimize this bottom screen completely if you click the little down arrow here it'll take it all the way down so the only screen you're seeing now is your top half of the record screen. And this is where we will be working from now on. When you start for the very first job you do, you need to change your package separator from a comma to a semicolon. Once you've done that one time, you never have to worry about it again. It'll stay that way from now on. To start data entry, you go to full name on the very first image and you type in the kid's name. Remember how you type the names is how they're going to show up on graphics, so make sure you've capitalized correctly and spelled correctly if you're ordering graphics. It's very important. Uh, once you've got the name typed in, hit enter and you'll be at the packages line. This is where you enter the packages that this kid's ordered. So let's say this kid only wants one package A, so we'll type A-1. That's package dash quantity. So in this case he's ordering one A and then you hit enter. Now you'll see the packages field has turned from a pink color on this line to a blue highlighted color. That means the software recognizes that as a valid package. That's something you always want to go through and check before you finish your job is to make sure that all your package fields are blue. That ensures that you actually have the information as you need it. The next fields, age, height, weight, position, team name, are all used on trader cards. So if you order trader cards you would want to put the information in for those fields. The next line is league. League for the most part in events is the same for the whole job. So if you want it to be the same, we'll just call this league BCC. If that league is the same for all the images in the job, you don't want to have to type it every time. So you click off of the league, back onto it, and then right click it. And you can say copy value to entire row. And say OK. Now you can see that text has copied over for every image in the job so you won't have to type it every time. 
Text line one and two are mainly used for our decorative borders and text lines on team overlays. Studio name shows up on the bottom right hand side of teammates so if you want to put something there you can and again if you want it to be the same for the whole job you just right click it copy value to entire row and say OK and you won't have to type it again same thing for studio info that shows up on the back of trader cards so if you want that you can select that end that line and say copy value to selection and it will bring it down for you <laughs> or not <laughs> Okay, I see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, you can select that and this and say copy value to selection and it will bring it down for you. Then you can copy that to the entire row also. So now you've got all your text that you need entered, entered for this job. If you were going to be offering ship to services, which is where we drop ship each individual package to the client, you would need to enter the studio name, address, or ship to name, address 12, city, state, and zip code. That would have to be entered on every image in the job if you want that service. So then you're done with that image, so you can go to the next one. And this is the coach's thank you prints that we're going to be offering. So you can just type coach. And then we know, we know we built package C for that. So if the, let's say we have three coaches, so we can do C-3. That's three package Cs. That's going to give us three 5 by 7 group shots that you can give to the coaches. That's all we need to enter then on this image, so we can go to the next image now, full name. This girl is going to get a package A and a package B. So in that case, we type A-1 semicolon B-1 and you can see the software does recognize that as a valid package so in that case she is ordering one of each package A and B again all the text is entered for this one so we'll go to the next one and this one is going to order one package A and two package B's so that's A-1 semicolon B-2 and you can see now all of the images in the job have their data entry typed all the package fields show up as blue highlight if you have more images than will fit on your screen there will be a scroll bar along the bottom of the field here you can just scroll through make sure everything is correct at this point you want to check your spellings check your packages to make sure your packages are correct once you've went through also make sure your teams are matched to the correct individuals once you've got all that checked at this point you want to save your data this is very important to do in case something happens down the line. If after this point your power goes out, something happens here at the lab, something's not quite right, we need you to fix something, you've got something to fall back on, you don't have to type the whole job again. So to save your data, come down to the bottom here, under the Open and Save, click the drop down arrow, and say Save Table. In this case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop, and you have to give it a name. And again, I'm just going to call it Baseball 2010 and then hit save. So now this table is saved on my desktop as Baseball 2010 so if something did happen I could just come back to open and save on a new instance of the Windows and click on open table navigate to that save file and open it and this table would load exactly the way it is now. Once you've got all of the um, data checked everything's saved then it's time to start reviewing your order. To do that right next to open and save is the button start reviewing click that and it's going to bring up a pop-up and you always want to say review all this is now going to take away the record screen and bring us back to the boss original boss screen 